Hi guys, Ryu here from Blender Bros and in this video I will show you everything you need to know about troubleshooting decal machine to make it actually work. Let's go. Alright, so you got the decal machine, you're excited, you plug it into your blender, you you know you launch it and you press D and fuck all happens. And the reason for that is because decal machine comes with libraries that are actually updated. So what happens here, guys, is that uh, when you go to preferences and you go to decal machine and you check the um, uh, this message here, you will see that there are incompatible decal libraries in your asset location and there are incompatible trim sheet libraries in your asset location. What does it mean? It means basically that the IS file is not correct, so it's just outdated. And what's an IS file? I have fucking no idea as a machine, but it doesn't matter what it is, it matters what the number is. You need to have the file updated to IS25, and I'll show you how to do it, okay? So first of all, you need to determine where your decals are located, and by default, okay, they're gonna be here. Which is where? Which is on your C drive. So you go to C drive, local disk, users, your name, update. By the way, this folder is hidden. So if you cannot see that, go to view and enable hidden items. And then you go to, uh, where's my address? There you go. Roaming, Blender Foundation, Blender. And then I suggest you grab that folder and put it on your desktop and create a shortcut so you don't have to fucking spend two hours looking for the damn thing. You go to your Blender. I'm using, by the way, Blender Alpha 3.4, but you know, Decal Machine works fine in it. Now, open this thing, go to scripts, go to add ons, go to Decal Machine, go to assets, go to decals, and then you see your libraries. These are all default libraries that come with the Decal Machine. So they're supposed to be working, you know, out of the box, but they don't. Now, the reason why they don't work is because when you go inside of this folder, you'll see this file here, IS21. Now, Decal Machine 2.5 and above, this file has to be IS25. So when I'm going to go to my assets on my drive, because I have a custom location, and I'm going to go to, you know, um, my decal folder, it's IS25. Now, the problem is that you cannot copy that file, okay, into another folder that has file 21 and replace it. It will not work. The reason why it will not work is because Decal Machine 2.5 and above is actually creating custom nodes, different types of nodes. So you need to use the updater in Decal Machine to fix that problem. So what do you do? Well, you go here and you update them. Now, my suggestion to you, okay, is to do it one by one in terms of folders, especially when you're going to buy decals from someone else. Because whenever there is a, um, a folder inside of trim sheet or decal folder that shouldn't be there, like for instance, in our case, trim sheet six, okay, contains maps like here, you see, uh, BB trim sheet QM gray maps. And these maps will confuse the shit out of decal machine and it will pop an error. And then you don't know which, uh, folder which trim sheets or which decal pack causes problem so i would either you know verify you know the contents of the folder before you update them on mass or just do it one by one so you can kind of pinpoint which which one is causing issues okay so what you do simply is you remove um you know decals from that folder or you create a custom folder like i did to which you link your decals because when I'm going to launch other Blender, right? My Blender I'm using, you know, on a daily basis. So let's say the 3.2 or 3.3 doesn't matter. And I'm going to go to my preferences and I'm going to go to decal machine, right? And I'm going to open that. You see my path here is custom, right? It's on my desktop. Now, why I'm, why I'm doing this? Guys, I'm doing this because I'm using multiple versions of Blender because you can do that. Now, if you have a lot of blenders on your machine, then so you need to um, duplicate that folder to each of these folders, right? Under, you know, uh, scripts, decal machine assets, etc. And it's just gonna blow the space on your hard drive. So what I do is I create one folder on my desktop to which I link all the blenders, uh, all the decal machines, okay? So each of my decal machines points to the same folder on my desktop, which contains the same uh, you know, packs of trim sheets and decals, all right? So that's how you can solve that issue. So now going back to our uh, Blender, uh, where is it uh, here? It is uh, 3.4. So what you do is you click on update them all and you wait, it's gonna take a bit of time. The more decals and the more trim sheets you have in your library, the longer it's gonna take. 
you can do this update from this panel okay or you can do this update from another panel which is an end panel on the side here well i cannot show it to you right now because i'm actually updating so let me get back to you when this uh you know bollocks are finished okay there you go now it's done so look we have the examples decals my decals and example sheets and panels and everything should be working fine so we're gonna save preferences right we're gonna go here and then we're gonna press d now everything shows up and when you're gonna go to again this folder here so we're gonna go to 34 uh, scripts add add-ons decal machine and uh, we're gonna go to uh, assets and decals and you go to for example aircraft right scroll down boom now it's is 25 you see it's got updated now like i said you can do that from end panel when you go to machine there is a uh here um, there are different panels you see and one of them is called update so you can do it in here okay so when you have a problem uh with decals that's how you fix it okay so let me show you another problem so here you see that there is a um a vehicle loaded in and if I go to uh, render view, you can clearly see that well, the HDR is not plugged in, but let's go to EV. You can clearly see that all the decals are loading in. And the reason for that is because I loaded this file using my packed blend. Okay, so when you pack everything into blend, every single texture you use for this project is going to get packed into your blend. However, if I'm going to load in a different file, this is a really old file, like, you know, see November 2019. Um, so I'm going to load in one of these, right? And you will see that I'm going to have purple squares or rectangles. The reason for that is that because decal machine cannot find links to these uh, decals. So what you need to do is you need to help it out. So go to update and then you need to find out which version of these decals you were using. So it wasn't 2.0, it was the earliest version. So we're going to now click here and update decals in current blend. So what decal machine is going to be doing is going to be using the decals in library that it's linked to decal machine and try to recover all the decals that you can find. The reason why these were not recovered is because I simply do not have them uh, in that file, okay? They just, you know, I removed them uh, and I'm not using these textures anymore, these decals, okay? So that's the reason why decal machine couldn't find them. But if I actually place them in the folder and they were correctly updated to current version 2.5, like I showed you before, you know, decal machine could be able to find all the decals that uh, you have in your libraries, okay? So there you go, guys. This would be like, you know, the major pain in the butt in terms of decal machine and how to tackle it, okay? Now, in addition here, you can choose which kind of uh, library you want to use. You can actually even link a library here. So I could link this to my library on my desktop and pull from there. Uh, so you can change the location from which you want decal machine to pull the information from, which is really cool. So even though you have different decals in your main library, you could actually specify a folder where some of these decals are located. So anyway, guys, uh, that's all. I think that should help you uh, with the basic, you know, troubleshooting with decal machine. So remember, update your IS file. Do not copy it. And if you're running into problems, just check inside of the folders whether you have some junk over there that shouldn't be there because it will throw errors uh, for decal machine. But there is one instance I want to mention where the decal machine, what it does, is instead of replacing file IS21, it's going to add another file IS25. So you're going to end up with two files. One of them is going to be IS21 and the other is going to be IS25. And I think the message in here, the error is going to be you have um, incompatible or corrupted, um, you know, libraries or something like that. What you need to do is go into your asset library, right? And you go either to trim sheets or decals because remember, they stored separately, okay? So when you're going to add decals to your library, add it to decal folder. And when you're going to add trim sheets, add it to trim sheet folder, okay? So now when you're going to be um, checking the trim sheets or libraries or decal libraries for consistency, if you will see two files, IS21 and IS25 in one folder, just remove the IS21, leave the IS25 and the error should disappear. Okay. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.